Drift Dominics, and I'm out with the Armour Granite 4x4 Nikolite Large Ride battery included. It comes with it, all charged up, ready to go and give it its first test run. So, let's go and see what it can do. Well, that's not bad to start with, is it? Brakes pretty well. Ooh. Transition onto the grass, fairly storming along. I have to say, first impression is, this is quite good. This is fairly longish grass, and yet that's handling that without any problem. No, no. Whoa. Well, my first thought is, Traxxas, you have got a competitor against the Stampede here because this thing turns like on full throttle. Speaking of turning radius, it is. Uh, look at that. Where the stampede would be uh, turning over, this thing is just. My initial impression, I wasn't expecting it to be quite this good. Loose surface without any problem whatsoever on there. Plenty of grip from these monster tyres. I could throw that stuff everywhere as normal. My wife would uh, be rather upset at that. Okay, now on the uh, black top, full acceleration. Let's see how we go. Fairly easy to keep in a straight line, given it's uh, got a fairly short wheelbase. Not too bad actually, and not turning uh, the steering trim in at all. That's the first time there. Got it on two wheels. We're gonna say. It probably said that and then I normally turn the thing straight over. Transitions from multi-surface, very, very good indeed. Quite stable on them. First time I turned it over. As Ryan would say, if you're not uh, turning it over, you're not trying. Oh, I think they've come out with a proper little basher on here. f and Hobbies, uh, who are very kindly loaned this for its first demo run. I've got these on Black Friday special. Now, I can't tell you the price for uh, various commercial reasons, uh, but suffice to say, it is an absolutely cracking price. So if you were thinking of uh, getting one from one of the big chain stores, I'd give f and a copy a call. I'm liking this a lot. We are definitely, definitely liking this. Now, you see the leaves are fat test of the four-wheel drive on there and that's made it through that without any problem whatsoever and it's always damn sticks that get in the way we'll find a bit more loose stuff to uh, test it out a bit see if we can get a bit of loose dirt see how we get on here now you're not going to be throwing up massive rooster tails with this thing because you are only on brush power but uh, if I told you the price point half an hour selling this you don't understand what a bargain this thing is and it's very, very stable, I have to say. He says, and then you see, typically, typically, the minute I say it's stable, I go and turn the damn thing over. Always happens. But overall, though, certainly very, uh, I've driven the Stampede just a little bit, but uh, this certainly feels highly competitive in terms of the stability on that thing. You really can't throw this thing round. Got just enough power, over, so it'd have been uh, brushed here. Uh, to enable you to turn on full throttle. I mean, literally, I'm full throttle on the turns on here. Well, I've been going for about 10 minutes with the thing there on full throttle, and we just got out. I'm not sure if that's the battery or if it's maybe the uh, heat thing kicking in on the SC, as I was giving it to the max on there. Very, very impressed with this. If you're the kind of person that likes buying an icy car and wants to spend more time driving it than flipping it back up right then this is definitely one for you the handling on this very very impressive from the outset uh, yeah you can, I'm sure you can add a brushless motor and, and make this thing go like an absolute rocket but the power balance uh, versus its weight etc it's very very lightweight yet the whole thing very very sturdy in terms of the plastic um, has a highly durable feel to it uh, this definitely gets the Drifter Maniacs thumbs up does the uh, Armour Granite 4x4 
Many thanks to F&M uh, Hobbit of New Jersey. There's a link to them below the video where you can get one of these cars from for uh, loaning me. Uh, this car to uh, not only to review along with the Sentin I did on the desktop the other day, but also to take this outside. And I've also done a GPS test with this car, which you may want to keep your eyes out for, uh, as that's quite interesting viewing as well. Anyway, I hope you like this video. You want to see more great OC cars like this, then please do subscribe. Well, if you like this video, then please do subscribe. And if you want to buy your RC gear, where I buy mine, buy from F&M Hobbies in New Jersey. Many thanks for watching.